All right, today we're going to show you how to access and use student planning, the new academic tool where you can track your progress and register for classes. To get there, you'll come to BlazeNet. Here in the self-service menu, you'll click on academic planning and student planning. Clicking on this will take you to a new window. When you first come into student planning, you'll have two options. You can view your progress and you can plan your degree and register for classes. The registration process follows a simple three-step process. The first step is for you to plan your courses. To do that, you can click on View Your Progress. On this page, you're going to see a full listing of all the requirements for your program, broken up into small blocks of courses. Courses in red have not yet been planned, so let's plan our first course. Simply click on the course name. It will take you to a new page where you can see a description of that course and the locations where it's offered. The first thing you need to do in order to plan this course is filter by location and by term. Let's filter for online and let's filter for summer. We can now see available sections of that course for the summer with the online campus. You can add course to plan select your term and add course to plan your course has now been added to your plan to see that you can come up here to student planning click on plan and schedule and you'll be brought to a new page with four tabs the first tab is your schedule tab on this tab you'll be able to see the course has been added to your schedule clicking timeline will show you all the all the semesters and the courses that have been planned for those semesters here's the course we just added here on advising you'll be able to see any notes between you and your advisor you'll be able to see who your advisor is and send a quick email to that person also very important you'll be able to click this button here request review when you click this button it sends a notification to your advisor letting them know that you have planned a course and need approval. Once you've approved your courses, you need to notify your advisor to approve the courses. That's the second step, approval. Once you've added your courses to your schedule and you see them here, you have to wait for the courses to be approved. To see if the course has been approved, click on schedule, and now we see the green thumb. That course has been approved. The next step is to register for that course. This course is not registered until you take this final step of picking a section and registering for the course. And all of this happens after the course has been approved. To see other sections of that course and to pick one, simply click on View Other Sections right here. This will give you a list of all the, all the sections of that course being offered. Pay attention to start and end dates. You want to make sure that your courses work in your schedule. If you are a graduate student, you want to have one class every eight weeks. If you're an undergrad student, you can have as many as two classes every eight weeks. Simply click on the course you want to register for. Click Add Section after you've reviewed all the information. Add Section. And you now can register for that course by clicking this button. To check and make sure that your course has been registered, simply come to the timeline and look for the check mark. If the course has a check mark, it's been registered. Also on the schedule page, you'll, be, you'll see this message here, registered but not started. That means that course has been registered. Once you have registered for the course, if you have any more questions, you can simply click on advising and quickly email your advisor here you can also request another review. You can leave them a note. We hope you've enjoyed this video and you find it helpful as you progress in your program and plan your courses. Have a great day.